You may remember this spot. That's been a year or two. But there was a fishing reel land right there. I believe just half of it. And there was a silver necklace hanging on it. This is the spot we've uh, switched a couple of times. I want to try it again today, but I'm going to do it a little different. I'm going to take some time without the camera on and pull a lot of the big rocks over to one side. And then we'll get in there and look and see what's there. I changed my mind. I forgot we had worked on that spot. So let's look in here. Let's see. Ant check first. Let's look right here and see if there's anything obvious that we missed last time. Looks like those on Stonehenge around here. You can kind of see the bottom, huh? The problem is that slopes down. Everything falls down there, so it makes me keep going to work this way. So the remember the goal is find something in the water. This is interesting. That is not interesting. But this is the drop right here. We could get some real good flow if I moved these, but I'm not sure I want to do that quite yet. This seems to be worthwhile. For those of you just joining this channel, this is me, this is what we do. And it works, doesn't it, everyone? It's about time to invest in a new finger for this glove. I think you can buy just the fingers now. Doesn't look like there's anything right here, but we would have been in it already. So I wonder, as I wonder, out under the sun, if we should move that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move all the rocks I'm sitting on. Okay, take a good look at these rocks. And this rock that I'm sitting on, and I'm gonna get all these out of here. And we'll get some flow. Serious flow. The second, the second rock I went to pull out is slag. Look at the green in there. Isn't that neat? That whole thing is slag. I don't know how I got here. Unless somebody put it there. Which they probably did. I got a lot moved. And now we got a lot of stuff to get out of here. Because this is the hole we're going to look in right here. And it should clear up fast. And we're going to see what's on the bottom. Okay, it's clearing up pretty quick. Kind of, sort of. I don't see anything obvious. It's one little circle of something right there. Nothing right there. If we can get to the bottom, then you know the routine. Maybe there'll be something in there. And if not, we will move to another spot. Because this is looking deeper than I thought. I'm 
really deep. Okay, let's clear out another spot. Let's take a minute and just look right here. If we simply move this, but before we do, move that. Man, look at the ants. This is gonna have to be quick. So we'll get you, put you right there. Get the ants off. Flip it upside down, get the ants downstream. Ants love to swim. God, look at the ants. They live in there. Okay, you see them. Jammer. We'll find something in here in a minute. That's where I get rid of the ants. So that's where you guys stay all the time. We need flow. We do not have flow. Look, I don't want to hurt your little coffers. I don't want you right here. You got to go somewhere else. Yeah, get in there. If I make this hole too deep, it may not drain. I'm gonna get this off my head. I'm gonna get spiders on me. And other things. Okay, I've got to move some big rocks. All right, let's try this again. Slowly. I need to channel. Channel our frustrations out of here. This is where I should have brought a shovel. That is a big rock, but I got it moved. So now, we can kind of look a little better. I really want to swish all this out, but it, it, keeps, it keeps balling up with stuff so fast. I'm getting it there, hang on. I built a partial, I built a partial dang right there. So we can kind of see there's stuff flows. I see one coin already under that rock. I can't get it out. That is one library. So that's a good sign. This is interesting. I find a lot of these in Crete, city Crete. No idea what they are. Any ideas? I guess that one library is maybe the only one. But I find it hard to believe. 
So, I'll get it here a little deeper. No idea what that is. I need it to wash out better. I gotta build a bigger dam. Cause it's not clearing out like it should. That's too shallow. So there's not gonna be anything in there with any outer interest. We need it old. This whole trip, what we got? One library and those things. Whatever they are. I guess we could try right here. Pretty good flow right there. Here's a uh, a small nail. In case you need a small nail. There is a piece of copper. We shall harvest. Okay, I'm gonna flip all those rocks out of the way. We gotta get some more flow. That's a little better. Our pile's getting bigger. Still nothing. Any substance because we're not quite deep enough yet. That spot isn't panning out. We're gonna go to spot number. G. And we will try right here. Decided to head back down, but I needed more flow. So I moved all these rocks. Look at the flowing now. It's going crazy. So this is where you lose stuff because it gets so deep so quick. I had to stop it from flowing right here. get it to go that way and I need it over there so it'll wash out that so that's what I'm still working on okay I got a lot moved I got all this stuff moved off the wall I think I got a good clear spot to look we'll get this piece of copper out of here that's a harvesting copper and we will start right in here because I think we finally got some decent flow we'll know in a minute you can see and I can see then we will all be happy right and I can't see which means you can't see which means nobody's happy so we got lead off a tire and a nail But this is gonna be the spot right here. We need to make a spot where we can put stuff and clean it off. Or just look. Ha! One library. We put the library and the lid right there. these gone they're hindering my progress I know I could have done all this prep work in advance but I didn't let's swish it really good 
I'm gonna stand back for a minute and wait it out. So we got a total of two libraries, copper, and uh, and you still can't see. I can't see either. So this is gonna be a grab and throw every time. But if we can get down to where it may be the bottom, blah, 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 you know what's there. of sunshine on my shoulders that makes it a little more visible in here I see I'm wondering what all this is does this move oh no it doesn't move that's concrete I've got something very important I want to show you at the end of this video. It's been uh, maybe two years since I got it. Maybe not quite that long. And I just put it with everything else and didn't mess with it. And uh, by the time this video comes out, it will add another. Oh, it's on my ear. Oh, those dirt daubers. I'm trying to shove a spider in there. Anyway, it's probably been... By the time you see this, the videos usually take a few months to get put out, so who knows? Okay, this is where it gets interesting. All the black, and I'm not sure what the black comes from other than burnt or melted stuff pouring in here but I have found coins in the black stuff right there that almost looks like the coins should have been sitting there huh and usually they are old I saw something right here to pick up before we go any further oh that's Americana Railroadiana I don't know what that is but the black is coming from right here which is a good sign. Uh, if I can get under it and get a lift. I wish we could see a lot better because it looked like there should have been a coin on the back of that that piece right there. See the little hoop to do? Matter of fact, let's test. Should have been. So maybe in here, if we get our hands out of the water, we'll be able to see. We seem to get under this black some more. lighter nothing but like Jason Mraz I won't give up oh unless I stick another one of those in my finger if I could swish under this I could grab it all and pop it out. Just wait a minute. Okay, I switched the daylights out of it. Now you can kind of see. See all the, uh, the nuts and bolts and screws and everything else. It's like they just poured something in here. I know it looks like concrete, but it's not always concrete that holds everything together. And you can really see it on the tops. Like right there, there's a coin glued into this mess. And I can't get it 
out. Oh, it's under a nail or a screw. And I keep hearing somebody holler at me. Do you see it? It's right there. And it is so in there, but there's a nail sticking right on top of it. So if I can find something, something, there's someone on the wing. So oh, let's find. Okay, there's a nail. Oh, it's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. Okay, I have been had and misled and cheated. There's another coin. There's a piece of lead. So let's look some more. Let's get under it. I think I about drug all the ant highways off of me. So I don't get bit and covered up. I'm not so worried about the ants. It's these spiders. Okay, I've got one dangler laying on me and it's that right there. I don't want to make this video too long, but I want to look right here and I want to show you what I promised I was going to show you because I need your help finding out who it belonged to. I've tried. Let me tell you where I got it. I got it at the world's longest yard sale, which starts in North Alabama, and I believe it goes all the way up through Georgia. Well, I know it goes through Georgia because that's where I bought this box of stuff. And then it goes to Tennessee. But I found this thing in this box of stuff. Ah, oh, two coins. Look at that. That's a standard issue library. That one is too. Okay. And you gotta understand why I'm hesitant on finding things. We found something in a creek. Well, not in a creek, but metal detecting not too long ago. I found out who it belonged to. And then it turns into a million questions. Well, how did you get it? What are you doing with it? Well, that ain't where you got it. And then it turns into this and that. Then it turns into all this other stuff and all that other stuff and there's a lot more of this and that and then you think okay next time i find something that belongs to somebody i'm gonna throw it in the garbage or sell it but i don't do that i pile it up i've got several things like that that belong to other people and over time when i wake up say okay i think it's time everybody's kind of being nice on the tube i'm gonna see if we can figure out who some of this stuff belongs to so I share it with you. And I tell you, some of y'all pretty doggone impressive because within minutes, you found out who a bracelet belonged to, who dog tags belonged to, who a class ring belonged to, and there's more. But wait, order today, and you will find out something incredible this afternoon. Well, not this afternoon, but uh, hey, you're awfully slick and shiny and small and Oh, it's one of those early brown knickles. Oh, these are also called dimes. So this guy on YouTube gets in these nasty city creeks and shoves his hand in the water and pulls out stuff. And then sometimes he finds people's personal things. I tell you what though, I always want to return stuff I find. If it belongs to somebody. I don't care if there was a gold coin. If it was in somewhere where it could be identified of who it belonged to, you'll get it back. Because I don't want other people's stuff. 
I'll take other people's discarded trash that I think's cool when I pick it up out of the church creeks. I don't want your stuff. Especially if it would have meant something to someone's family. And I got a feeling this does. So don't cheat and scroll ahead. That looks like a coin underneath there. I think it's time to break out the old crack scratcher. I need to invest in a back brace before it's three late because I'm gonna need it. We'll only do this a few more minutes and then go. Don't cheat, okay? Don't stop the video and scroll ahead to see what it is. That's cheating. No, I forgot where I thought I saw that. make a difference if you can't find it again does it oh there it is okay I broke it all up so far no We're getting down deep into the serious darkness, and that is a spot that's really good. If I could get all this busted up right here, I didn't bring anything heavy enough to do that with right now. So I'm thinking we wrap this up. No, wait, there's a coin. Maybe that's what I was plucking out of there. Should be an oldie locks. No, standard issue library. Grab a handful. See, I get overly stimulated by these libraries. It makes me not want to stop. Is that for those drops of water that splash up into my mouth? They make me want to stop. It was a washer. Okay, last swish right here. Are you ready? Let it clear. It's clear enough. It's taking a little while. So we got to remember to get our what? Four or five libraries right there. Our dime, our lead, our copper, our crack scratcher, and our other library from up there. So let's peek from above while the water flows. It's just so hard to stop. I told my bride, I said, I gotta start making shorter videos. Because they're so long, I got a feeling people aren't watching them. I, mean, I know everybody's not watching the whole thing. And that's understandable. I wouldn't watch the whole thing either. But why do it if you're not gonna watch it, right? So, that's my plan. Okay, so we're done here. Uh, you remember we just got a few libraries of dimes, some lead, and a little bit of copper. Now we're gonna, wait a minute, that looks like something. No, it wasn't. Okay, let's move on. Okay, you ready? Can you guess from the back of the box? Can you guess from the front of the box? Yes, from the that piece of the box. Do you have any idea what that is? I thought it was an empty box. I have bought a Purple Heart box at an estate sale just because I thought it was cool. And I, uh, it wasn't cheap. But this is what's in here. I don't know if the two go together. This could have slipped in through the side because there was bunches of metals and junk and stuff and some dirty books, not like dirty, dirty but old and moldy and mildewy books. It's still attached. Let me figure out how to, oh, it just slides off. Like that. 
and there it is it says for military merit Harold E Crowley or Crowley that's Harold E period C R O W L E Y what's the chances of figuring out where this fella's family is so I can return this if you have any leads I um, would like for you to tell the person when you find them to email me my email address can be found on my about page and usually on the description of the video I believe it's there Alabama Explorer at Gmail well, actually, I don't know if that came with it. That just, I don't know what that is. GoPros don't focus with the flip. So I don't know if that's out of focus, or if that's in focus, or if that's fair, or if that's not fair. So that's it. So yeah, I would return this, but whoever emails me and says it's theirs better have some doggone good substantial proof. So with that said, thanks for watching my videos.